All right, let's see. This is uh, June 4th, a little after about uh, 2 o'clock or so, give or take a little bit. And we are starting the uh, judo subfloor for the source. And uh, Mr. Mondo, Sifu over there, is getting after it, helping me out uh, today. And uh, we already got the wall board up the other day, and uh, we're going to try to uh, build this subfloor. We're going to add... Uh, Right now we're looking at putting these cubes, these polyurethane cubes, or three, uh, three by three by three, whatever you call it. We're uh, adding them for uh, four, per, four per square foot. And being that this puzzle mat was already laying here, we're using that as our diagram. And then if everything works out right with the, with the placement, uh, we're going to uh, apply the cement uh, uh, tack glue and then put the uh, come in and lay in our already pre-cut wood. We're using uh, 7 16 uh, OSB wood at this time. We're going to be doing two layers, uh, one on top of the other, but we're going to do the first layer first, kind of eyeball it, make sure everything's good, and then uh, we'll be screwing in the second layer here in just a little bit. Being that I made this a 10 foot by 6 inch uh, platform so we could fit our Dolomer um, flex roll mats incorrectly with a little bit of a frame, um, I'm able to have each layer where I can easily uh, flop the uh, pre-cut wood the way it's cut. I can just flop it to where it'll, I won't have to worry about the seams. If we would have went more than uh, 11 feet by 11 feet, we would have had to mess up the or change the diagram of the way the wood would be cut and um, make a little bit more of a pain to uh, cut the uh, wood. So, all right, I'm going to shut up now so I can get back to work. Enjoy. slide in, on either way and we're going to be screwing the the top layer down above the, the primary one that we're doing the, the pad to. done with the uh, gluing of the uh, cubes as you can see we're on our last little panel some of them on the edges over here where we're gonna be walking we decided to add a couple more extra cubes like the some of the websites and blogs and things like that say to do so that you don't uh, a little bit more wear and tear on the edges where we're gonna be walking in on the on the front there but we got one panel left and then we're gonna bring the second layer in and uh, start screwing them together after we make sure everything's secure I opened my eyes and looked around Unfamiliar ground So I close my eyes and I lay back thinking Alright, we're sw Mondo sweeping it off for us real quick. I uh, drilled After our drill bit broke in our little countersink thing. I went ahead and used it anyways because it worked Just no drill bit, but uh, I went around and punched holes and um, All the boards to make sure we can secure them We're going to clean it up and start putting screws in. And then hopefully if this all goes well, we'll uh, work on the framing next. But uh, so far so good. It feels really awesome to stand on it. It's, it's uh, sounds really, it feels really nice so far. 
and Mono bro Michelle's broom. Wondering just what had I done? After a little while of laying there thinking, I, I took another look. Same unfamiliar ground. Was about that time, people, I began to realize that it's not a dream. Alrighty, as we see here, Sean's uh, putting the finishing touches on the subfloor for the Dollamer mat. And uh, we've got basically about 140 of the Piley Styrene high, high density foam cubes, roughly about every foot or so. And uh, we have uh, one layer of plywood that is uh, adhesed to those. And then we have another one with a similar pattern, but going at cross reference to the the primary seam so there won't be any slippage. He's screwing them down so the bottom layer and top layer are together but it'll still have a, a dispersion factor whenever one is thrown or steps on it. Right now it feels pretty solid but it does give some but the dollar mask is going to have a little more uh, comfort in the in the receiving of a throw that you're not going to dig in too deeply. So this will give just enough resistance under the dollar mat to where uh, you can slide, it's a fast surface, there's no sinking still allow you to have good quick footwork and not drag or snag to where one could possibly injure a joint such as an ankle or wrench a knee. But um, we're almost there. The only out outside uh, edge is missing. Uh, we'll be framing that and uh, that'll basically cover it here. But it uh, looks like he's getting down to the last few. We'll get to the next section momentarily. All right, we're going to put this uh, flex roll mat out and see what she looks like before we put the frame on. Let's see what it looks like on the on the wall. Oh, okay, it's gonna be both of them. That was. Yeah. It's like building dance floor. Well made up. Okay. We're going to have to change up the way we did our framing. We got Booty over there. We put him on the mat. Can y'all see him? Let's see. He wants to do a little bit of a grappling. But uh, we're going to have to change up the... Uh, the framing, where we'll have, instead of having a frame, real nice frame around the top, the one by threes around the top, around the edges, we're going to have to come up with like a two by six or something like that. All right, a little update on this. Um, I went to, uh, had to go to Lowe's. My wife, as y'all uh, probably heard on the last little video, um, she had to call Lowe's and chew them out because the actual platform uh, that you see the red flex roll mats on, Dolmer flex roll mats on, it was supposed to be six inches longer uh, than the mats. And so what we did is we had to go back and, uh, and all that because we already uh, cemented the plyourethane cubes on there and everything underneath. So what they did is they gave me a, uh, it's not finished quite yet, but they gave me a, uh, um, I believe, eight pieces of two by sixes. Um, and then they gave me some uh, more one by threes and that way I can build a box around here to make up for the th uh, six inches that I lost and didn't get in the regular cut but as you can see we're going to be able to make a real nice frame I believe once I'm finished with it putting it all together the correct way it's just laying down here just looking at it but um, I think it's going to work out well and that way those mats will stay in place and we'll probably end up putting the vinyl tape in the middle just to make sure that the, ta that the uh, flex rolls don't come up uh, they do now make a uh, Velcro flex roll, but about three weeks after I purchased mine, they came out with the Velcro flex roll. 
Uh, it figures, but uh, it's all good because we're going to make this rock and roll. So I'll be back when I uh, get the frame built. Thanks.